welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you're keeping well and hope you're keeping safe and you know we are in very very trying times and we are all just trying to do our best to remain safe and to protect ourselves from the the raging virus the coronavirus that is really raging throughout the united states and totally out of control as far as i'm concerned so anyway um you know we've been trying our best and everyone is making masks and sewing their own and some people just throw a bandana around their faces and they keep moving but you really want to make sure that whatever you use to cover your face is not just helping protect your neighbor your friends your colleagues but it's also offering you a certain amount of protection yourself. After all, that's why it's called PPE, which stands for Personal Protective Equipment, meaning that it's protecting you. So don't be fooled by you're wearing the mask to protect your neighbor or your friend or whatever. Yes, you are, but you are also wearing it to give yourself a certain amount of protection, personal protective equipment. So we know that there are various, various types of face covering that is floating around and, and some of them, you know, with ventilated holes and, and some, you know, you really, really have to be careful. Okay, so let's talk about the different types of masks that are out there. You know, first you have an N95 respirator. This is an industrial grade N95 respirator. So it's not the 3M one that most you know medical personnel use or the KN95, but this is an industrial grade N95 respirator. It, it, it protects you against very, very, very tiny particles. So when you're talking about an N95 respirator, you're talking about a mask that has been designed to filter down to microns. You know, viruses or bacteria that is so little, so little, it is microns. And as the smaller the virus, the viral particle or the bacteria is, the more it is able to remain suspended in the air. So a bacteria that is large will if you cough, it will drop to the floor within a certain amount of time. But if the, if the virus or the bacteria is very little, like the TB bacteria, which is you know, very small, it will, once the individual coughs it up, it will remain in the air for an extended period of time. And so that is why you need an N95, meaning it's, it's filtering out 95% of any bacterial viruses that you inhale or you can potentially inhale. So this is an N95 respirator. The benefit of this is not only can it filter the little, little, you know, micron size, you know, viruses or bacteria, but it also, it protects you and it offers a seal. So when you place it on, this area is totally sealed off from the external environment, right? That is the benefit of an N95 respirator. But we know that with all the shortage of PPEs and everything else, we reserve these for the medical personnel who definitely needs N95 respirators. Now we have what we call a surgical mask. Now the surgical mask is designed to filter out you know, viruses or bacteria is larger. So if some, like the, like the flu, the flu virus, if someone coughs, you know, you know, you know, of course the, 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 the cough, the droplets can extend to a certain distance. This will protect you from droplets and it will definitely protect you from droplets, inhaling the droplets. Now this has a little wire tubing at the top, a little wire strip at the top. You wanna make sure that when you place it on your face that the wire is to the top. You don't just put it on anyhow. 
So the wire is to the top and once you apply it, that you are molding it around your nose. And that will offer you a certain amount of, you know, protection by sealing around the mask where it fits you. So this is your surgical mask and it does protect you from inhaling droplets. But it, it, it doesn't have an efficient filter that will filter out, you know, like <clears throat> TB or the coronavirus that is really, really small and um, micron size viruses. And of course you have your homemade mask. I made this one, looks very good. This is for my son. You have the homemade mask, which you can make from just cotton. Okay, if all you do is put two layers of cotton together, it's not gonna protect you, okay? It may prevent you from inhaling droplet particles, yes, but you want to make sure that any handmade, this is totally 100% handmade, not machine sewn. So you wanna make sure that it, once you make it, you also insert that little wire piece to the top, and you want to make sure that you put some filter in between. It could be uh, another layer of cotton to offer you a little bit more protection, or you want to use two of these disposable surgical masks and shape them in the form of your mask and stitch them in between as the middle layer. So you have your double layer of cotton and your surgical mask serving as your filter and of course you know everybody's running around with bandanas around their faces by now it's much more improved because there's so much more you know mask available and you know a lot of people are sewing their own so it's much more available but you want to make sure that any mask that you use is offering you the protection and the other thing is you walk around and even when you go to the stores you know the clerks or the supermarket cashier who's supposed to be protecting themselves and protecting you from them they have the mask on but it's some of them are under the chin of course under the chin right now how is that going to protect you or some of them are just covering the mouth like this okay the nose it's wide open. So how are you going to protect yourself? Or how are you going to protect your neighbor? When you apply your mask, you want to make sure your mask is covering your nose and your mouth. And if you can help it, so let's assume you're going for a procedure, you're going to your doctor's office or where you know the attendant is going to be really close to you. You want to put some kind of glasses on because you're not just protecting your mouth, your nose, but you're also protecting your eyes, which is another area that the viruses can enter your body, any mucous surface, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. So you, when you apply your mask, make sure it's covering nose and mouth, and not mouth. Okay, guys? So please be safe, all right? Be safe and make sure that you are wearing the appropriate mask. Now, if you have a cloth mask, now some people sew the cloth mask with the plate and it's just two layers, you may consider putting a surgical mask and putting your cloth mask over it. If you do not have a pocket where you can insert this surgical mask to serve as a filter, you, you want to put a surgical mask and then put your cloth mask over it. You definitely want to make sure that you're having the best, best protection available and not just throwing something over your face in an attempt to protect your neighbor. You want to protect yourself. That's why it's called personal protective equipment. So go ahead and if you're sewing your own mask, remember to put your filter, protect yourself guys, be safe because this is a deadly, deadly virus. Over a hundred and something thousand people have died and worldwide, probably three or, or two or three hundred 
thousand people have died from this virus. So you want to make sure that <clears throat> whatever you do, you are doing it right and you're not doing it in vain. So take care of yourselves, guys. Be safe. And have a very, very good day. See you next time in my next video. I'm going to connect my mask making video to this video. And I had two videos. One so with just needle and thread. And one without any machine or any needle. Just your fabric and your pair of scissors. So see you next time. Take care. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel. We are coming out with a various you know, topics. Our primary focus really is breast cancer, but as the events evolve, like now we're in the middle of a pandemic, we definitely want to produce videos that will benefit our viewers. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up if you think that's a good video and you learned something from it and subscribe. Put the, push the red button and subscribe. Thank you and have a very, very good day.